Today we're hopping into a magical world of dragons in Minecraft Bethonia. That's right, we're finally back, and it's going to be so much fun getting to play alongside fans like yourself. If you want to join us on our sponsored server, it's jerome.methonia.net. And you can even connect on Bedrock devices as well, like your phone, by going to br.methonia.net. If you join using those IPs, you'll even get yourself a noble rank for free as soon as you get on the server. Come hang out with us! Alright, and there it is! Because I joined with jerome.methonia.net, I got my free noble rank given right in my inventory. All you gotta do is right-click it, and then you're good to go. And when you're first getting started, right click your pickaxe and get yourself familiar with all the different enchants out there now this is what you use gems on which is one of the currencies from the mines the other currency you get is dragon mana which allows you to summon dragons but for now let's hop in here and let's go and start getting some mining down also what you can do that's super super important is spawn in some auto miners i think you start off with one but if you got a premium rank you can get up to five of them and take a look at them go. So they'll help you out while you get to have some fun. Now guys, in terms of the first actual enchants that you should be getting on your pickaxe, take a look at haste. So haste shouldn't be uber expensive. It might sound expensive being a whole, you know, 1,000 gems, but trust me, that's not much at all as you play the game. Like, once you start really leveling up, that's like genuinely nothing at all. It's Wee. weird seeing a bunch of us running around the mine. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, Yeah, I want to get out of this mine drones. as soon as possible so that I can get away from you guys yeah i know right yeah. well one of the things like i said get yourself haste like i was able to just pour it in to get to level one haste and actually to be fair we did start off with a large gem pouch and a large mana pouch largely oh, thanks to our rank that. so we should probably go ahead and use those and that should help you out and oh. getting some of your basics yeah dude <laughs> because of our rank there that helped us out a ton so now my haste is oh it's only level seven i wasn't even able to max out my haste what the heck and i was able to get level two for speed that helps out and then, next thing you want to get, of course, is Gem Pouch. Gem Pouch will allow you to get more gems more easily in the mines, so trust me, it's really, really helpful. I got a haste up to uh, level 6, so I'll take that. I got Gem Pouch 25, so I'm happy. I forgot, how do you mine, uh, rank up again? Probably slash rank slash up. Slash rank up. Oh, I mean, you could do that, or you could right-click uh, your pickaxe, go to your levels of mines, and then just click on the crystal at the top there. It's not expensive. Oh, I prefer to command. Because <laughs> I could do it oh, as soon I... as I see that bar fill up on the oh. side. Hey, everyone. New mine. Oh, you guys ah. already able to get to a new mine. How much was that? Yeah. Was it expensive? Yeah. No, uh, not at no. all. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Before we get too far into this video, I just wanted to quickly tell you guys all about my awesome PC sponsor. If you guys didn't know, I've had my very own PC line for about a year and a half now, and it's all thanks to you guys. The continued love and support that you give for Apex Gaming PCs has allowed me to make this line bigger and better. In fact, I even released new products on the page as well. So please, if you're in the market for a brand new PC, consider choosing mine. You can find all the links down below in the description, and hopefully a lot of useful information about it. The best part is it allows you to do exactly what I do every single day, including making videos, playing video games, games, editing, more or less you can do anything that I do for my job right from this computer. So thank you once again everyone for making this possible, it really is a dream come true for me, and I hope you enjoy the PC as well! So every five levels you get to go to a new mine, and the new mines of course give you more money for literally the same amount of work, so it's just better to do that. However, it's an investment, right? Like we lost like probably 10, 15,000 gems just to get to this better mine. So, it's something to balance, but, you know. Now, some of the other enchants that I absolutely love, besides, like, the obviously, Black Hole, Explosive, and things like that, and Thor's Anguish, who couldn't love that one? Uh, another <laughs> big one is Key Gen, which will make it so that you have a chance to get keys while mining. And I know a lot of servers off that, and it doesn't happen, like, too, too often. That's not the case with Mythonia. You will get keys if you mine long enough, and it's not even that long at all. Like, it's... Trust me, it's worth getting. Ooh, I just got a gym pouch. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. wow, really? For mining? I love, well, I love gym pouch. pouches, dude. Uh, I was <laughs> oh. sad about it. It was a mana pouch. <laughs> oh, because I had the battle pass, I actually just got up to tier number two. Let's go. Nice. So slash pass, what do I get? Oh, for completing that, it gave me a small mana pouch. My tier two reward is a mine key. All right, well, I better get to work on that. Also, I have 10,000 dragon mana, and the different egg costs are 10,000, 20,000, and 30,000. I'm going to save up for the 30,000 legendary. However, I do have something I want to show you all real quick. Now, because okay. dragons are so important to this game, uh, we actually have our own kit here. So we do slash kits, and we have... Where is it? There's a dragon kit. And that should give me a bunch of dragon eggs. I'm going to open these up and equip the dragons, because they're going to help us out in mining so much. Ooh. So starting off with the basic level eggs, we can roll one of those. 
There's the Atlantean, Apocalypse, and Toxic. Ooh. So to give you an idea of some of the Apocalypse, infuse your pickaxe of radioactive energy, causing explosions every block break for a limited amount of time. Ability Dragon Charge, mine blocks of this dragon active to collect charge and unleash its supercharged skill. So all the different dragons have things like that. And then you just roll through. You collect more and more of them, and ooh, as you get more of the same one, you can actually level them up. So, for instance, we chose the Apocalypse on that one. If I was getting Apocalypse again, then he'd be level 2 and be stronger and stronger and stronger. There we go. Another Apocalypse pet, for instance. So, I think they put him at level 2, and now that should get him to level 3. So, we now have a level 3 one of those. But we also have more of the middle and tier 3, the legendary eggs, so I should probably focus on those, too. I love the billionaire dragon. The billionaire dragon's great. Oh, I was going to say, billionaire, billionaire dragon oh, and the Egyptian dragon, even Ooh, though yeah. they're only level two, are some of the best dragons you can get. Oh, well, good really? thing I just got a level yep. two Egyptian dragon. Mm -hmm. Level three Egyptian. Well, cause, oh, yeah, because what Egyptian does is it procs other dragons. <laughs> so it's really yeah. good if you can get a high nice. level Egyptian. Well, I got to level four, wow. and now I'm rolling my tier three dragons. Oh, Galactic is super good. Neon's super cool and sweet tooth. Um, let's see. I'll probably do Neon for this one, for the legendary. And what do I get? Neon, Galactic, sweet. All right, we'll get Neon again. Keep on pouring Neon in here. I'd love to keep leveling that up. Neon's oh. also a good one. Uh, it's Frozen Tundra, Galactic, or Carnal. Let's do Galactic. Okay. Oh, another level for the Neon. And we can end it off with another Galactic. All right, so now you go to your dragons and you equip Ooh, them uh, in this top slot here. And just make sure you pick some of your best ones. Like there's the Egyptian pet. We definitely want the Neon Dragon pet. Uh, if we can get, I guess, the Apocalypse pet up there. A Galactic. And last but not least, let's get... The billionaire dragon. And now they'll follow you around, and as you unlock more and more of them, they'll level up and get stronger and stronger. Also, I'm pretty sure it must have been for my battle pet. Or was it? No, it wasn't. I must have just got a random achievement on the server because I got two large gem pouches for no reason. So. Yeah, I did as I well. believe opening the dragon eggs did that. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, got yeah. Got it. All right, I spent uh, huh. about half of the gems I got from that on getting my yeah. haste up oh. another level. Uh, oh, I could spend Whoa. the rest of it on getting my speed up to its final level. All right, there we go. So, hey, speed first, then gem pouches. That's kind of like the order of operations for what you want to get. And then from there, you can kind of just mess around and get some of the other explosion ones. I'd recommend getting at least level one in each and every enchant, though, because the way that it works is until you're level one, I don't think it can have a chance of proccing. But once it gets to level one, it has a very small but chance of it happening. So it's worth it. All right, let's see. Can I rank up a bunch? Ooh, I got to level oh, seven. Wow. Yeah, my goal for the end of the day is to get to level 15. <laughs> I just rank 13. Oh, nice. I want to get to level 15, and then after level 15, I want to go ahead and get a, uh, what is it? Defeat, defeat the dungeon. So there's different mm -hmm. dungeons at different levels, which you can right-click your crystal, and you can kind of explore those by going over to the dungeons tab here. But for instance, at level 1, you can do the ice dungeon. Level 15, you can do the crystal dungeon. I don't want to do the crystal dungeon today, uh, but I think it'd be good to unlock it for next episode, you know? Yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. Dude, I've already got enough dragon mana that I can unlock my own dragon, but I always save up for the legendary ones for 30,000. I, I just feel like it's so much more worth it. It's that or trying to roll for Egyptian. Those are those are the dragons you'll want. Exactly. Egg salad. I keep filling my pouch, so I'm going to have to start upgrading it. Oh, also do that whenever, like, you can. Because whenever you get something that can, like, mine the whole mine at once or cause, like, a huge explosion, you want a what? bigger pouch to sell and get more gems at once. Exactly. Drops oh. is entirely right. There's, like, a dragon, for instance, called the Nuclear Dragon, which we've gotten in previous yeah. seasons on Methonia, and it will literally destroy pretty much the entire mine. Oh, like, I just had something proc. I think it was my Neon Dragon. My pouch was full, though, so I didn't benefit fully from it. Don't get me wrong. Still amazing, but it was not anywhere near a full benefit's worth. Uh, it is expensive, though, to upgrade, yeah. so that's one of those things that you kind of get yeah. later on in the game. But super worth it and to keep your eye on once you get more money. Yeah, it's kind of sad. My Neon Dragon just did all that work and, like, literally probably got a fraction <laughs> of what it could have given me. Yeah. I think the nu the Nuke Dragon, doesn't he fill, like, over 100,000 spaces if you get him a high enough level? It, it's close, yeah. yeah. It's a lot. Something like that's that, yeah. That's a lot of space. 
Yeah, it's it's kind of ridiculous. All right, once I get to level 10, I'm celebrating by opening up these loot crates. There's the loot box Atlas, and then the loot box Jerome that they actually released in the server as well. So definitely want to open those up. All right, how much money is it to level? Oh, I need 24,000 gems. I have 19. Once I get to 24,000 gems, though, I'll be able to leave this area. Ooh, mine party. Yeah. Party time. Wait, no, oh! Just, uh, I thought you said mine 40. 40. I was like, no way you're mine level 40. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 I had a panic no, attack. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so far behind. Guys, for ice gems, I actually just got an ice minion egg uh, for getting battle pass tier 3 and beating it. Ooh. Oh, nice. nice. Can buy nice. stuff from nice the ice. shop. Whoa. Well, we'll get me stuff that I can buy for st uh, stuff from the shop. Well, right? yeah. Yeah. So basically, you put those down in your guild, which we're probably going to make next episode with the, the crew here. And you put them down, and then you feed them food, and they'll go and mine you crystals that you can use in the dungeon shop. Really cool stuff. My gosh, this mine is such a wreck. What have you guys done to it? Nothing. Uh, you know. I blame Dropsy. Thanks. All right. I'm f I think I'm finally able to leave this mine. I'm getting out of here. All right. Here we go. Level 10. Here we go. Perfect. Ooh, Cap, I see you've already made an absolute wreck of this mod. Jeez. It wasn't just I'm Cappy. It was a group hydrate. effort, Jerome. Oh, I I'll see. Give him Stan all the monkey. credit. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, hi. Sorry, how could I be so mistaken to only give Cap yeah. the credit for destruction? Oh, you know, yeah. I, it's an easy it's mistake insulting. to make, dude. And what am I, oh, chopped yeah. liver? Uh, well, I just got a large gem pouch, and that is... Ooh. Wow. I mean, that gave me a ton. That brought me up to level 12. Nice. All right, and now nice. I'm going to open up the Atlas loot box. Let's see what we get from it. Come on, give me something good. Give me something Ooh. good. I'm hoping for a lot more gem pouches. Monkey, why are your toes right in my face? Oh, apologies. <laughs> so, <laughs> there we go. Large gem sometimes pouch. Needs to happen. Yeah, Medium some, mana pouch. Oh, my toes. gosh. There's so much. Giant gem pouch. 670,000? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. Oh. Uh, oh my goodness is right. And opening up this large That's... mana pouch here. Dude, Ooh, giant what? mana pouch. Okay, Pretty what are we going to get from it? Please be good. Please be good. Medium mana pouch. Is that a giant mana pouch? Bro, what? <laughs> Guys, I got a permanent mine. Like a private one. Oh, oh, nice, nice wow. dude. 25 by 125. Ooh. Does that mean we can't ruin yours anymore? Oh, I did too, actually. I got the permanent private mine. Look at that. Nice. Cowards. All right, time to open up the Jerome crate. No, I didn't get to see what's in it. Oh, okay, well, the mystery. <laughs> it teleported <laughs> oh, no. me. It teleported me to the private mine right as I clicked on it. I'm like, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got 106,000 right. dragon Ooh, mana wow. now. Yeah, well, the oh my. Jerome one gave me three Ooh. large dragon uh, mana pouches, four giant dragon mana pouches. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of dragon mana. Three large gems. I have six giant gem pouches, so I'm, I'm going to see oh you guys my later. God. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, so I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah, it gave me a <laughs> rare episode. generator, too. No way. All right, time oh, to that's up the last very one. good. I got a cell booster times four for 45 Oh, minutes. yeah, y'all, I'm out of here. I what got, was the first thing that you opened? I got a lot of gems. I opened up the Atlas ones, and then I started opening up the Jerome ones. The Jerome ones are so OP, dude. All right, let's Is there like see. a rank up max you can do? Nope. Giant mana pouches. Oh my gosh, giant gem pouches. Ah, sick. All right, well, after all those, I just want to get myself to level 15, which I can uh, very okay. easily do. And then I'm probably <sighs> going to spend... Oh, what's this? <gasps> I got a tier 3 Fend dragon egg from all that. All right, let's roll. I found a on. mythical dragon. Nice, dude. Those can be super good. Be very careful with that, sir. Um, I got a bunch of generators. So these generators we can also put down in our guilds once we make one. Same with the ice minion egg. And now we have all these stats here. So I should be oh. able to get... Yeah, let's get the last levels of haste now. Good. And then I guess we could throw a bunch of this into gem pouch. There we go. Level 550. Yeah, there we go. So I wasted all the rest of my gems after level 15. But at the same time, I now have such a high <laughs> chance of getting gem pouches. So there's one more order of business, guys, that we need to do today. And that's defeat yeah. the first dungeon. But what I'd recommend doing before you go there is right click your crystal in the bottom right-hand corner. Then click over to warp menu, which looks like a waypoint. And then go and click over to crates. That'll bring you to your crates area. And we're going to roll a bunch of the dungeon crates in order to get weapons to help us out. Because otherwise, 
we might be in a little bit of uh, trouble there, you know? All right, the first two I rolled give me magical mushrooms and obsidian minion egg. Okay, good for the future, but we need to get lucky and get weapons. So I'm going to click through this a bunch of times. I have, like, so many uses of it. One of these has got <laughs> to be a new weapon. All right. I clicked all of them, and now we play the waiting game. All right, everything came through. No way. I didn't get any better weapon. All right, well... We better hope we're good enough then to take this guy down. This might not be an easy one. But let's go warp to the dungeons and uh, give it our all. All right, here he is, the Yeti. He's going down. We should be able Who's to team up on him with everyone. I wish we had a ranged weapon, though. That's what I really wanted, but we should be able to make I mean, this we work. We could throw Stead oh, no, at him. No way. We could argue that's a ranged weapon. What, Stead? Stead's yeah. a ranged weapon? Oh, yeah, if we stuck throw him hard enough. <laughs> what just happened? Yeah, I got teleported him. up in the air. What the heck? Oh, because I tried eh. going through the portal without the eh. key. I didn't mean to try and go through the portal. I got it! I beat him and I got nice. the ice market black. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. I got the ice black market key. All right, I'm going in. All right, there we go. I hopped on through, and here it is. Now, whenever we want, we can just fly on through here. We don't have to de defeat the Yeti ever again. And we can go ahead and buy ourselves some better gear, like Frost Armor and the Ice Morn Sword. We just need a lot, a lot of gemstones. So remember, if you want to get a noble rank for free, you can hop on to jerome.methonia.net right now, and you can play alongside us. And our sponsored server even has a bedrock version called br.methonia.net, which basically means you can connect from your phone or any other bedrock-enabled device. I'll see you online!